Hey, shalom, all. giving all praises, honors, and glories unto Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Makakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of the Church of Great Millstone. Hey, shalom, all to the sincere and hopeful alike, you brothers out there that's prophesying in the true name and the true doctrine about the times we're in ahead of to for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. This is your fellow brother Kodash Paya, and this lesson, or uh, updates rather, on what's going on with the whole mandate of this jab going on throughout the globe. Right, and you see in different countries and also states over here in America, aka Babylon, you see people are uh, rallying, protesting, you know, rioting. Over there in Italy, they were burning uh, green passes, right? So people are starting to wake up and see, you know, the lies and the propaganda that's being passed. But um, and this is this is prophetic. Now the scriptures say that this these things was gonna happen. Right? And uh, I believe by August 11th, they're trying to uh, mandate it. And also by September 15th, they're stating that the military troops, it'll be mandated for them as well. And you see people, a lot of uh, frontline workers, law enforcement, uh, even in the military, they're even leaving, uh, uh, quitting. Right? And that right there in itself shows uh, a division because you also have these politicians that are, are divided you know on this on this matter so nevertheless man I'm gonna get some articles and as you can see here on New York Times and I got a couple clips I'm gonna show as a matter of fact yeah I'm, I'm gonna read this real quick and then get the clips get some scriptures so this is on the New York Post right it says the SF Sheriff's deputies threatened to quit over the C-19V mandate. You see? Over there in San Francisco, San Francisco Sheriff Union on Friday threatened that a number of deputies, I believe it was 160 deputies, right, that um, stated that they were going to quit if this thing was mandated. See, and uh, why you think Biden... Why well, you think Biden is uh, uh, bringing the troops back over here in America, I believe, mid-August? Right? Because, you know, not only that, they had given, given uh, power to FEMA, um, but also that it's going to come down to the wire to where even when the CDC spokesman said that by, I believe, late August or early September, if I, uh, one of those two, where... You know, they're going to have vehicles to distribute this uh, going door to doors. You see? And uh, this is cause, this is causing uh, uproars of the people. See, and over here, even on Dabu7 on his Twitter, says the UK transport minister says the jab will be needed for travel evermore. And the scriptures say... In second usher is how a man shall desire to go into the city and won't be able to, right? Because they're going to have checkpoints, you know, in different areas. They're going to have checkpoints in a lot of places. That's why they require uh, verification, you know, digital passports, digital verification, you see? And if not, you can't, you're not going to have uh, uh, the same liberty as though, as others, right? In the sense of, you know buying food in the sense of paying, uh, you know, going to gas stations, crossing the turnpikes and the bridges in the sense of working, right, going to school, paying rent. So what they're doing is they're cutting off all avenues, pushing people to the corner. And when people are pushed to the corner, they have no choice but to react. And uh, I'm going to play this, I'm going to play, I play these uh, clips real fast. This is a woman in the front line a frontline worker. So this is what I do. I do dialysis on patients in the hospital. You can guess where I'm at. COVID positive hospital. Or completely full. All fully vaccinated patients. Vaccine doesn't work. I'm not getting it. I hate my job today. Not wanting to do this again this year. Last year sucked. It was the worst year ever in healthcare. Pray for your healthcare workers again. 
We ain't trying to do this again. Love y'all. See, and people are starting to uh, expose um, what's going on through these social media platforms. And that's why uh, they're trying to shut down these social media platforms. Because the truth is coming out. This is over there in Italy. Hey man, so you see you see what's going on, right? You know? really coming man because this is all problem reaction solution now let's get some scriptures this is the book of second Esther's chapter 9 verse 3 therefore when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world then shall thou well understand that the most high spake of those things from the days that were before thee even from the beginning that's what we're seeing. We're seeing uproars of the people, right? Division. Yahweh Shai spoke about a division. It says, verse 5, For like as all that is made in the world hath a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Right? The end is manifest. Like the scriptures say, um, better is the end of a thing than the beginning thereof. So the end of this society, this kingdom, this heaven, is, is, is on the verge of being completely uh, destroyed and prophetically wise you know we're at the end of this kingdom you see that's why all this is going on like it says in uh, revelation 12 and 12 that he had but a short time you know so that's why they're trying to usher things in quicker with the jab which is going to lead to the chip you know with their new world order but in the midst of that you're going to have world war three uh, uh, occur right like it tells you in Revelation, the uh, ninth and the eleventh chapter, and also when Yahweh Shai comes back with the holy the holy angels, man, because we're heading to that hour of temptation. You see, so that's why you know um, things are happening quicker, man. And I'm gonna get this scripture real quick. Let me refresh the page. This book of Second Ezra, chapter fifteen, verse fifteen, it says, "For the sword and their destruction, draw nine. And one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hand, right? Because you're going to have also a, a, a order out of chaos. So when there's chaos, that's when they come in to bring in what? Order. That's why uh, even when the scriptures say, how, you know, their tongue shall fall upon themselves, roughly paraphrasing, I believe in the book of Psalms. You know, when uh, politicians and spokesmen had came out and, and mentioned a new world order. You know, because that's the, that's that's basically the, the the end goal, right? But you have people divided. You know, some believe in the jab, and some don't. You know, and it's, it's boiling down to that to the mob mob, the motb. You know, and Yahweh Shai spoke of uh, um, 
Matter of fact, I'll get. Let me get that, and then I'm gonna jump back to this precept real quickly. So, uh, real quickly, this is the book of Saint Luke, chapter twelve, and I'm gonna start at fifty-one. It says, "Suppose ye that I am come to give peace on earth, I tell you nay, meaning no, but rather division." And we see in a division, you know, and uh, uh, with these politicians, the scriptures say, uh, "A house that's divided cannot stand," right? Because that's also what happened. Uh, in the Roman uh, era. Verse 52. It says. For from henceforth. There shall be five in one house. Divided. Three against two. And two against three. The father shall be divided. Against the son. And the son against the father. And the mother against the daughter. And the daughter against the mother. The mother-in-law against the daughter-in-law. And the, and the daughter-in-law against the mother-in-law. Right. And, 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 and that's. That's what's happening. Especially when things hit full fledged. Especially when when uh, there's an e economic crash, crash of the dollar, you know, and this chip is mandated, right? And especially when people can't eat. See? See, and a lot of people are stating they're not complying, you know, they're not going to give in. But when, uh, you know, Pressure from above, pressure from below. When things hit the fan, you know, have a lot of people comply, especially women with children, with kids. You see, especially when the uh, martial law is uh, occurs full fledged. You know, but anyway, this is uh, verse sixteen, Second Ezra fifteen and sixteen. For there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another. You can have people invading one another. You know, because of the lack of bread, goods, right? It says they shall not regard their kings nor their princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, for because of their pride the city shall be troubled. And that's what we're heading to. We're heading to what? A time of trouble. Uh, the scriptures speak about Jacob's trouble in Jeremiah the 30th chapter, around the 7th verse on down. Right? It says, uh, The houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. So that's 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 what is you know where where uh, things are are coming down to the wire, man. But um, this book of Jeremiah chapter forty nine verse ten, going back into how you know Esau, the elites, and their agenda is being exposed. So this verse 10, it says, But I have made Esau bare. I have uncovered his secret places, and he shall not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled, and his brethren, and his neighbor, and he is not. So the Lord is making Esau bare. Esau, which is so-called white man, the elites, primarily we're talking about, right, Edomites. The Lord is making them bare by having them be exposed, as if somebody's naked, you know, you, you, they're exposed. They're, they're secret places, they're parts. You know, but spiritually talking, we're talking about their secret societies, their their propaganda, their agendas, their, you know, right? Their secret councils and all these unjust laws and, and policies they're passing, the draconian laws, you know, so they're being exposed. So when somebody's exposed, they have no choice but to come down with force. But that's when Yahweh Shai is going to have to, uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is going to intervene. You know, Isaiah, uh, Isaiah 59 and 19, when they come like a flood with the troops. You see, and a lot of uh, military troops, the U.S., they got families over here. So they're not going to run down on people over here that, that get family. They're going to have to bring in U.N. troops, troops from, from overseas, you know. But anyway... So with that, man, watch and pray, because uh, we're heading to some serious times, man. You know, like the scriptures say, through the fear, we persuade men. And at the end of the day, this is the most high. Uh, he's orchestrating both sides. He's he's controlling uh, the righteous side and, and the so-called wicked side, you know? So knowing that, man... Pray to the Lord, seek seek the Lord while he may be found, Isaiah 55 and 6. Right? Because the doors of repentance is closing, man.
And soon, especially when uh, the internet shuts down, you know, people are going to run to and fro to seek this word, but they shall not find it. Because once this word is, is it hits the four corners of the earth, then the end shall come, like it says in the book of St. Matthew, chapter 24, verse 14. We're in them times. So with that, Shalom.